There's a growing backlash tonight over the Grammy nominations released today, including reports of an ultimatum given to one top artist who's now accusing the Grammys of corruption because of how the nominations are made. ABC's Megan Tavrizian has more. This morning, the biggest story about the Grammy nominations is who didn't get one. The weekend shut out after releasing one of the most praised albums of the year. Blinding Lights, the longest running top 10 hit in Billboard history, overlooked. The Canadian artist now calling the Grammys corrupt on Twitter. TMZ reporting he was snubbed after he chose to perform at the Super Bowl over the Grammys. He had a massive album with After Hours, and the song Blinding Lights is the sound of 2020. It has just been unstoppable. So to have a song like that that is not recognized by music's biggest night is really shocking. Other snubs include Bob Dylan, The Chicks, Luke Combs, Halsey, Selena Gomez, and The Killers. Justin Bieber was nominated, but he's still crying foul. Taking to social media, he expected his Changes album to be recognized in R&B, not pop. Writing in part, from the chords to the melodies to the vocal style, it is undeniably, unmistakably an R&B album. To be clear, I absolutely love pop music. It just wasn't what I set out to make this time around. It's another good year for female artists. Beyonce leading the field with a record-breaking nine nominations. Dua Lipa and Taylor Swift both picking up six nods. Swift is up to win her third album of the year for Folklore.